Hi, my name is Nancy, and I am a part of the Historic Preservation Committee. I have been a part of this committee for four years, and I absolutely love being a part of this. I will show you the inside of our wonderful little museum in just a minute, but I want to explain to you this wall. As you can see by the wall, there's, a, there's tons of names on here, and all of these people are miners who died that lived here in either, in what we call Tritown, either Decono or Frederick or Firestone. If you happen to have a family member that is not on this list, you are more than welcome to go to Town Hall and see our town clerk about adding your family name. Okay. Welcome to the Frederick Museum. This was originally City Hall and it was moved here many, many years ago to be a part of Chris Park when the new building was built. Um, I'd like to show you inside and tell you some of our history. Let's start with the fact that Frederick was originally called McKissick. McKissick was the very first mine in this area of all Tritown that was built. It was moved, excuse me, it was changed to the name of Frederick because there was a man named Frederick Clark. Frederick Clark was a farmer and he was instrumental in making sure that the um, mining families had food, meat and eggs and milk and whatever they needed. He was a very private man. He, was, he didn't want his recognition. But after he died in approximately 1920, he was, uh, his family came forward to the trustee board and said, we would like to have our father honored for what he did for so many years for the miners. And it was voted to change the name from McKissick to Frederick in Frederick Clark's name. Have you ever driven down Tipple Parkway? Let me tell you what a tipple is. It is this structure right out here on the outside of the mine. It was a very important little structure because in those days, they didn't have telephones, they didn't have any other communication. So early, early in the morning, there would be what I call the company men and they would send down canaries, actual canaries. And if it was safe for the men to work that day, they would put a green light up on top of the tipple. Everybody that worked that mine knew that they could go to work that day. However, if the canaries went down and they did not come up, there would be a red light up there telling them that the mine was unsafe, there was too much of carbon monoxide down there for them to be able to work safely. 